I knew him by the emphysemic cough I woke to, the rattle of his piss ten inches from my pillow, and then the furious sluicing as he yanked the chain. I monitored his palsy by the tap-tap of his spanner, searching under the sink for a nut to tighten, indulged the martial music marching through the wall of the black and white war films he turned up too loud. I picked up noises echoing back the decades, the thin squeak of the pulley wheel his old clothes era hung from, the rummage in his hearth as he raked the complimentary coal that burned through the bricks of my chimney breast too. <laughs> Fifty years hewing the black rock had turned him troglodytic. He still blinked at the light as he carted his ash pan to the bin or shuffled out to turn the engine of the car he never drove but just warmed up though weeds grew round its wheels. I'd never crossed his threshold, but once took round a misdirected Christmas card and glimpsed a ceiling brown with nicotine, reeled at the reek of his capstan full strength. That was the last I saw of him, and what I heard slowed down or stopped the roster of clicks, thuds and scrapings he'd no idea got through to me. Only the cough got louder. It was the winter did for him. It took him out without a sound. Now, when I dust my mantelpiece, all I can feel is a house losing its heat. All I can hear is the slow drip, drip of empty shafts. <laughs>